Hey everybody, welcome back to Harmon Homestead. I'm gonna show you tonight some of our pepper seedlings that we have here. This is in our Jiffy Greenhouse starter kit, okay, for seeds. These I started without heat in front of a window January the 19th. And I want you to see here, it has taken a long time, but we still have seedlings emerging. You can see there at the very bottom, some of these I've pinched off where I planted multiple from older seed. And you can see here the growth, okay? These here that are coming up, I have one jalapeno here, and then I have a pepperoncini pepper, hot salsa blend, cayenne, the cayenne has done great here. And then I have one jalapeno over here as well. So it has taken that long. Today is February the 18th and we only have a few seedlings. A lot of people ask, will my seedlings germinate without a heat mat? They will, it just takes a long time. He was my first one to come up. You can see true leaves starting here. He looks really good. It's just taking a long time time without heat. So this year I invested in a heat mat and I replanted everything and I'm going to show you a picture of that. All right, so this dome, I still have the lid on and up under it, I have my heat mat. We do have the thermostat controller. I've set this on 80 and look here. I noticed germination yesterday. So we're doing much better. These were started last Thursday. Today is day eight, okay? And look at all of these seedlings that have came up. Those are all jalapenos. We've got some bell pepper here, bell pepper there. And then my other two rows are eggplants. I do not see anything yet, but I will say for seeds that like heat, like rosemary, basil, sage, eggplant, pepper, the heat mat is the way to go. And I'm actually getting ready to take the lid off but these guys, there's no comparison. From now on, we'll start the peppers with a heat mat because it, it's just such an easy way to get these things going and growing a lot quicker. In eight days, these are the results. Not everybody's germinated, but we've got a good bit compared to letting them just come up on their own. It just takes so long. So let me show you our seed cups and everything that's coming up without heat that's doing great. Last but not least, here are our seed cups. Plastic bath cups with holes in the bottom for drainage. And look, in front of a window, no heat, and they're sitting on a plastic lid for a plastic tub, okay? They're doing great. These were planted on the 8th. Big boy tomatoes, we've got beef steak here. We've, we've got tons of germination, guys. They do excellent. Let me show you this. Look at all of these. These are all tomatoes. Now I'll go and thin these out for the best looking ones, probably tomorrow. But everything has germinated within a week or so. Got all these. So a plastic bath cup with a hole punched in the bottom for drainage, seed starting mix and your seed and you're good to go. I just like something to collect drainage. Over here, I used a casserole pan Though, these are tomatoes that I planted this week, my micro tomatoes, micro dwarf. Those have not germinated yet. Down here we have kale. I don't have any light, but you can see right there. We've got red Russian kale coming up. There's one way back there, probably can't see. These have not germinated yet. I planted those on the 14th on Valentine's. A lot of that is lettuce. I do have one lettuce that's come up, but Otherwise, about a week to a week and a half and your tomatoes will be coming up everywhere. So the plastic bath cups work, guys. You've just got to put a little effort into it and you can reuse these over and over and over. But I mainly just wanted to show you a video on the heat mat for the peppers and then the peppers without the heat mat. So definitely, if you've got the time, the money, invest in the heat mat because it has worked wonders for us here. Anyways, guys, we'll see you next time on Harmon Homestead.